Hi, this is Mambo Sandy, and I have made this video. <laughs> I can't edit it no more because it is what it is. Um, I stayed away from Facebook for a while because Facebook is the wild, wild west. People want free information. People want free work. And it's just, honestly, at this point, a waste of time. I met a few good people on there, but for the most part, people want shit for free. I don't have time for it because guess what? When the bill man come knocking, he want his money. I don't have time for it. But this post that I saw today has now contributed and polluted voodoo once again. So now, Ursley Freda is that hole over there. That's right. You heard me say it. This is what a bartender said to a Hoongan and the Hoongan decided to make a post about what went on. You know, there's some things and I'm not telling everybody has freedom of speech, but sometimes you have to be careful of what you write because already there's a lot of nonsense posted about Ursley Freda and Ursley Diala and Ursley Dan Tour. Matter of fact, there's a lot of nonsense po posted about a lot of spirits, a lot of confusing information. Now, this is added to the dumbass information that's out there. Okay, I'm saying well, how it is. I'm not editing this no more. You take it how you want to take it, how it's going to land, it's how it's the fuck going to land. Okay? First of all, there's a difference between plissage and demi monde. Plissage is a left handed marriage, there was a contract drawn up. Okay? And in that contract stated if the child was a male child, he probably would go to France to learn, to get an education. If it was a female child, some type of property or something was set up for her. Okay? Plasage could last two years, three years, depending on what that man and that woman came, ag came across and came to an agreement on. Also, it could be changed if the man just decided to change his darn mind, which could lead a woman... Or if you want to say someone that's in Ursley Freda's shoes, if you want to say, or yeah, something to that effect, it would could cause you some stress because you don't know what could happen. So you're always trying to please and make this male, uh, your husband or whoever happy. Let's talk about Demi Monde. Demi Monde is two different things. Demi Monde, the woman was a courtesan. Ursley Freda is not a courtesan. Ursley Freda was a wife. Okay. Ursley Diella, who's rarely spoken about online, thank God, because they'll fuck up her information too. Ursley Diella is a lady of the evening. Ursley Diella is also a courtesan to the highest degree. Okay? Ursley Diella, she deals with kings, queen, kings, princes, and things of like that, and even queens at that time, because there was some funny business going on then too. Okay? So, anyway, my point is that there is a difference. There are some similarities, but there is a difference. Demi Monde, the courtesans had two to three, um, if you want to call them sponsors, if, you know, I, there's another name for it, I forget the name, but they had those things tucked away from themselves, okay? Usually two to three. All right, maybe a little more depending on that person, but they were very exclusive. They dressed exquisite. Those courtesans that lived in the world of Demi Monde, it got to a point in certain countries that the kings said, you cannot dress in these nice, beautiful fabrics because people are mistaking you for royalty. That is how exquisite they were. Okay? Now, Ursula Freda, when she would get into plissage, if you want to say, or women that were in plissage, the, the Frenchman or Spaniard would set up a house for her, okay? And she had her own servants, and she had things like that. And her job was to look beautiful and take care of her house. And to and have things set up so when he came there, when, you know, he's not dealing with his other wife, uh, you know, he would come there and things would set, set up to make him happy and he would release his cares of the day. But that still was his wife. They were married. There was a contract. Hint, hence, left-handed marriage. Ursley Freda, 
Freda does not like champagne. Ursley Freda does not like cheap stuff. I don't care if it's from your heart or not. Hear me again. You want services from Ursley Freda? You better come right. You better come correct. If you want something from Ursley Freda. There's only a couple perfumes that, she's, that she accepts that are considered not really top of the line. That's Chantilly and I forget the other one, but there's another one that she uses. Or you just can't give anything, a glass of water, okay, and rose, rose water mix. I've said this before, if you can't, but make sure it ain't cheap. Don't give her no cheap stuff because what you get afraid of, huh, you will not, yeah. sweetie. This is why we say, you know, you need, before you go serving Loa, you need to go get a consultation. I don't give a darn if it's with me or any other quality Hungana Mambo. Before you go skipping off trying to do services because all the Loa came to me. How do you know it's even a Loa that came to you? It could be a jab pretending to be a Loa, but oh my God. Don't say that because all oh, the who guys and mambos, they want money. I digress. So anyway, you know, it's the crabs in the barrel mentality. Women are always being put down by other women and men because they found a way to have a better life because they don't feel like Busting they ass eight, nine, ten hours a day. Oh my God. How, oh, it's so horrible that you're not suffering like me. Oh, it's so horrible that you don't have somebody cracking the whip over your back like me. Next. A good acquaintance of mine, we were discussing the word Dahomey. Freda has that in her name. Ursuli Freda Dahomey. Okay? Dahomey was a is a kingdom. It's a kingdom of Benin. Okay? Dahomey royalty. But I'm not going to give you all the information. Since y'all like to Google so much, Google Dahomey. Okay? Google Dahomey. Google that. See what comes up. Okay? Now... Ursula Daila sometimes comes to services for Freda because Freda doesn't want to attend because Freda don't like what y'all have there. So she sends Freda. She sends Daila. And Daila takes care of things because she's a wealthy woman. Why does she want to come where things are not in order? Things are not in place the way she likes it. That's how wealthy people are. If it's not to their liking, eh. They don't want to be bothered. That's how it is. You can't change that. Now, Ursula Daila, okay, she has a dagger too. Her dagger was given to her by Ursula Danthor to keep basically these men in check when they get out of line. Also, the dagger that's in her heart was also placed there by Danthor. And yes, she will use it as a weapon if she needs to. And if she uses her dagger, sometimes you don't even know when she's going to use it. Being that we want to bring up the subject of daggers because Ursula Freda can smile on your face and cut you your throat and watch the blood drip down while she's still smiling and talking to you. Ursula Freda does not eat pineapple. Ursula Freda does not eat raisins. Ursula Freda likes nice cheeses. Ursula Freda likes beautiful, expensive things. Okay? Simple as that. Don't give her no cheap stuff. She'd rather have five pieces of good chocolate, one good handbag compared to a whole bunch of crap. Don't be giving her no plastic flowers and all this other mess. She don't want it. And you wonder why you don't get no response because she wants things the way she wants them. And that's just how it is because that's who she is. Anyway, Ursula Daila, on the other hand, she's a little more lenient and a little more tolerant because she understands of hard work. Now, she also has pain in her heart because looks 
also dictate her what her work which is dealing with men they want the most beautiful thing they want the most you know perfection almost you know, they want perfection to a point. So, yes, she worries about her looks too. And it makes her sad because she knows one day she's going to be old. Okay? And you know how this society is. Once you get old, boop, they toss you aside. Once a woman's no longer, you know, can give children. And I, you know what gets me upset is that other women actually hold that against other women. Okay? Other women make other women feel bad because they know other women's sensitive spots. All right, so that's another reason why Erzy Freda don't deal with women like that because she know how sneaky they can be and how hurtful they can be. Okay, let's call it what it is. Next, Erzy Diela, okay, she is more understanding of women because she understands, you know, the uh, things that they go through, abuse and all those things like that. All right, so she's a little more tolerant and you can approach her more so than you can Freda. Okay? Because Ursley Freda likes what she likes. Ursley Diela will sometimes, once again, come for Ursley Freda. And it takes a skill, Hungana Mambo, to look and say, okay, that's not Freda. That's Ursley Diela. Because they come around the same time. And Ursley Freda can easily leave if you're not paying attention and Ursley Diela come in her place. But. Like I said before, sometimes even when Ursley uh, Diella comes to events, I've even seen some of uh, Voodoo Assange tell her to go away. Yeah, tell her to go away. So now we got this information online with this person had put there about, uh, you know, that hoe over there. I wonder how that's going to be incorporated into the rest of the bullshit that's online. I just wonder. I wonder how that's going to get incorporated. Because people see what they want to see and they hear what they want to hear. Okay? And that right there, that hole over there, people will start putting those Freda and those two things, words together. Okay? So if they attend a fet, and like I said, Freda calls them up or something and asks to talk to them or however it might go, and they're going to be looking at her like, oh, she ain't nobody. She, she's not an important spirit. And I'm going to tell you something else. So y'all be jumping and snapping when Ursley Donthor come and Ursley and um, Ogu Farai come. Tell you who you need to be afraid of. You need to be afraid of some of these spirits that they be smiling. Because those are the ones, at least Ursley Donthor and Ursley and Ogu Farai. Okay. But Freda and Anais up here. Hmm. But that's how it is. Okay, so this is what I'm going to say. The nonsense has to stop. It has to stop somewhere. So to be clear, plasage is a marriage. The life of Demi Monde and a courtesan is not marriage. Yes, women, Creole women of that time had different lovers and things like that. And they were women of, if you want to say Creole women, that walked in the world of Demi Monde. Okay? But you also had Creole women who were also in Plissage. And they both can almost, they, they both have the horrors of getting old and being replaced. But they're two different things. Ursley Freda is not that hole over there and actually and, and, and Diella is not that whole hole over there because guess what Diella she gets her money okay honey she gets her money sweetie all right and she gets her coins and when I tell you she get her coins she's not getting a little bit of coins and people go to Ursley Diella to make their businesses go better that's if y'all haven't insulted her but hmm, guess what probably uh, I'm quite sure people have because that's how people look at prostitutes. And uh, that's that that name just makes my blood curl too. But now that hole over there has been included in the nonsense. So I would advise you if you're at a fet and Ursley Freda comes and she wants to talk to you, I would advise you to get that thought out of your mind. I would. Erzy Freda and Erzy Diela are two different. They're, they're in the same court, but they're different. And a lot of people sometimes can't tell the difference. 
Erzy Freda likes orange juice. She don't drink alcohol. Now, if you give her a bottle of champagne, she might, out of being nice, take it, but she's not going to drink it, so why even give it to her? That's another reason why she don't come to a lot of different ceremonies. And her sister does. And I said it. And I won't retract that. Because that's how it is. But people want to put their human their their humanity on the loa and you can't do that. You cannot do that. And and I'm just it it just infuriates my mind when I just see that there. Okay? Ursley Daila has that jewelry for many reasons. It takes just like how a woman goes shopping, okay, when she's sad. And it makes her feel better to a point. Same type of thing for Freda. They both understand how people are fickle. People are very fickle. Today you're there, today they're for you, and tomorrow they're against you. And in those delicate situations, you're always on the edge of a machete. You see, this is the importance of finding a good Hungan or Mambo and really knowing your roots, your Racine, your heritage. And getting the right information because there's a lot of false information out there online about both of these spirits. Matter of fact, you can't even hardly find anything about Ursley Daila, which maybe that's a good thing. Okay, so to wrap this up, Ursley Freda is not that hole over there, and please do not even think that. So, this is Mambo Sandy. I'm signing off, and um, if you have some questions, please feel free to ask. Bye-bye.